All right, I already started my new script on my new video. Well, let's go finish it. But first, let's go check on what's going on in YouTube. What? Fuck. A week ago, I stumbled across a YouTube video called Proud to Create, Proud 2018, and watching this video made me extremely angry. Not because I have any issues with the LGBT community, as I completely don't, but because YouTube is a hypocrite. This video, celebrating all the wonderful LGBT content creators on their platform, is hypocritical. And it is a perfect example of YouTube turning it from a warm and interesting place with cool content being uploaded to a cold and dead algorithm that only cares about saving face and profit lines. Let's take a step back and recognize what led us down this path. First, PewDiePie was called out as a racist by mainstream media outlets. These accusations were wildly out of context and were grasping at nothing to try to drag down the type of content that makes their own content antiquated. YouTube, trying not to lose advertisers, started demonetizing videos, which led to any touchy subject being removed and demonetized from YouTube, essentially blocking out creators who put up hateful content. In theory, this sounds good and helpful, but the real implementation is disgusting. YouTube needs to lean on an algorithm due to the large amount of videos being uploaded to the website. And one of the touchy subjects that have been in the sights of the algorithm is LGBT content. As many LGBT creators have been struck down simply for including terms like trans and gay in their titles and descriptions. It's a small LGBT YouTuber tag. It's a fun, wholesome video. Everything within the video, including the title and the tags and the thumbnail, are all well within the community guidelines. That being said, within 60 seconds of uploading that video, which tells me it was done immediately by YouTube's automated system, it was marked as non-advertiser friendly. For example, we have Chase Ross, a transgender content creator who covers transgender topics in a sizable amount of his videos. Chase has experienced many of his videos being demonetized by YouTube, and then, as an insult to injury, YouTube has refused on a few occasions to re-monetize his videos that are completely in line with YouTube's guidelines. You tell YouTube that you want that to run as a pre-roll against certain kinds of content. People are now doing this with anti-gay, anti-LGBTQ plus content throwing it up on specifically content from LGBTQ plus YouTubers. Are they doing this because they want to, to freak people out and be like, well, fine, I, like now I feel like this is an antagonistic place and I don't feel comfortable on this platform? Maybe. Are they doing this because they want to reach people who are vulnerable and who are looking for support in a time of need? Almost definitely. Like this is despicable and gross and disgusting and I hate it so much and it is a thing that is happening right now. They're taking their their hateful advertisements and putting them up on pro, like, supportive, prideful, loving content on YouTube. We also have Elijah Daniel, a gay content creator who has even experienced anti-LGBT ads on his videos. So when he isn't demonetized for who he is as a person, he has had anti-gay ads run on his videos, and that's fucking disgusting. We even have a creator who was featured in the Pride video YouTube made, Mac Does It, reacting to the same anti-LGBT ads on his own channels. Why does YouTube do this? So you would think as a person that's reacting to anti-gay ads on a constant basis, that stupid ass shit won't happen. But stupid ass shit happens. And here we are talking about it. If I told you that the anti-gay ad was playing before my videos, would you believe me? Because bitch, guess what? Guess what's happening? Guess who needs to be fired? Guess who's a traitor? In total, YouTube has never been good to content creators specifically LGBT ones, and if you look at how they treat these content creators, it is apparent YouTube as an organization doesn't care about LGBT con content creators. They told Elijah Daniel to fill out a form so that he has to avoid anti-gay ads on his videos rather than fixing the problem themselves. That is just complete disrespect. Complete disrespect to the topic and the creator that they were addressing, even with a pride icon on their Twitter. That's ironic. 
but I need answers. The community needs answers. We can't still be doing this. For instances, even though YouTube says they are aware of it, they are constantly working on it, we're still getting things like this from Chase Ross, where Ross shows that if he uploads these two videos with these titles, he is completely fine, but when he changes the title to include transgender, it looks like he is auto-demonetized. I'd be lying to you to say I'm not upset. I'm sure that's pretty clear, but I'm not angry. I just want answers. Hey, you're uh, Chase Ross, who makes content about LGBTQ stuff, then you're getting demonetized all the time. And that is a bummer because it seems like why on earth would you demonetize something that's like the history of great lesbians? Just great lesbians in history. Here's some, here's some lesbians who were dope. And then YouTube's like, oh, we're not so sure about this. We don't like, well, we don't know why the algorithm just said that it was bad. I don't know, we don't know why, we don't get it. It's all, it's a computer making its own dis ugh. Because why should we have to fill out a form in the first place? You, or to give you the benefit of the doubt, your algorithm seems to have an issue with LGBTQ content. But that ceases to be an issue for YouTube when the video that's speaking out against homosexuality is an ad and YouTube slash Google is getting paid. Some even arguing that allowing that ad goes against YouTube's own term. But I got a response back from the team YouTube Twitter account saying, while we can't cover specifics, we've added much more detail in our best practices to our ad-friendly guidelines. But the thing is, that's not the issue. Everything within the video is well within the guidelines. The problem is, it's marked as not advertiser friendly immediately. It's never going to be a perfect system that handles every video fantastically. Like, that, that's an understood. But to say we do not have a list of LGBTQ related words, I feel that's very misleading. You may not have a list per se, but you have an algorithm that seems to be leaning into certain words. The proud to create video is a joke. YouTube cares about saving face and only about that. And they want to look accepting while in reality they treat these content creators like dirt. Congrats on putting a band-aid on broken glass and calling it a day. I bet you're proud of yourself, YouTube, for a video that has a god-awful like-to-dislike ratio because even LGBT people don't like how pandering and insincere the overall video is. YouTube, you did horrible with this one. Fix it. We're getting tired. YouTube doesn't feel genuine anymore, and that's because it isn't. YouTube cares about profit margins. And in the end of the day, they care about profiting off of LGBT creators rather than helping them make a profit on their own damn platform. I don't know how to fix this, but I shouldn't know how to fix this. YouTube should. And they better. Alright, so this video is one that I'm actually kind of proud of making for once. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more you know, interesting, it's a little bit more funny. I put a lot of work into the editing and the research, and overall I'm just happy about it. And while I didn't hit the mark of getting two videos out by today, at least I have one out, and that's about it. You know, like, subscribe, uh, share, follow my Twitter. I'm, I'm not your mom. Much love.